Hello! Today I wanted to talk about some things you can do as a volleyball player when maybe your practices have been cancelled or you don't have access to a gym, maybe you don't have safe access to a gym, maybe you're in between seasons, maybe you have a tryout coming up. These are some quick at-home drills you can do to make yourself a little bit better, maybe to help you prepare for that tryout or just you're bored and <laughs> you want to have some fun playing volleyball. These are a few ideas I've come up with that don't require other people and they don't require equipment and they're quick, easy to do at home with just yourself and a volleyball. The first drills I thought of were laying on the floor. You can set to yourself, you can vary the heights you set at, work on your soft hands, even hands, and trying to send it straight up above your head. Focusing not on having to catch the ball too much or move around too much. It should be pretty easy straight up and down. You can also do standing passing, passing to yourself, just working on not a lot of swinging, just focusing on the ball hitting your forearms straight up and down. If that's a little too easy, you can try one arm passing, switching arms, alternating arms, just keeping it balanced, low, simple. You can try a single arm, just your right arm in the air or just your left arm. Maybe you can develop some kind of a pattern when you switch. You can alternate, you can try to focus on a pattern, trying not to have to move your feet too much, stay in the same area. Then if you can get a wall, try wall passing. And Karch Cry of the USA Women's Volleyball Team strongly encourages learning how to pass outside of your midline, so work on passing the angles. Then you can also set against a wall, working on shifting your feet, soft hands, keeping your eyes at different angles around the ball. Especially if you're a setter, this can be a really good setting warm-up if you're about to do a different kind of a setting drill. Uh, you can stand further away from the wall, closer to the wall, whatever works. You can also sit and set against the wall. This lets you work on setting a little higher, maybe. You can sit further away from the wall, sit a little closer. You can focus on your soft hands. You can change the angle you're setting, height. If you want to work on your serve and your toss, you can stand against a wall and practice keeping a low toss and a firm hand contact against the wall, stopping the ball between your hand and the wall. And if these are all too easy, here's some challenging ones. You can lay on the ground and set to yourself, and then try setting to the tops of your feet or the bottoms of your shins, and let it roll back down to your hands. Try to see how many in a row you can do without missing your feet. Another one you can try is between the leg setting while laying down. Take a couple in between and then try to set with your left leg between your arms and then your right leg. Switch really quickly and then go back to setting. This one's really hard. See if you can do it or how many you can do in a row. <laughs> My favorite and one of the most challenging ones is setting against a wall, but you try to spin. You switch the angle you're setting at. You can try to spin without letting the ball drop. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found at least one or two of these drills new or useful to you. Whether you have an upcoming tryout or practice, or maybe you're just bored at home and wanted to play some volleyball. They're all super simple, easy, quick drills you can do with just you and a volleyball. No partner needed, no coach, no equipment. Super simple, easy to do at home.